Hey, 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 guys. Welcome back to Seek the Beast on the Minecraft Feed the Beast server. So, it's time to do a little more work on the secret base. It's time to add another platform, and today we're going to be making a machines platform right there. I did a little bit of work off camera as per usual. As per usual. One of the things I did, I finally dressed up the little macerator smelter setup right here. I put some iron block slabs on the sides and some inverted magenta, um, what are they called? Lamps. Inverted magenta lamps there, so they don't require a redstone signal to be considered on. And I'm using the, uh, the, the same kind of building style and materials we've used everywhere else. So here I used magenta lamps here. Everywhere else, up until that point, I had used light blue inverted lamps because I liked the minimal look. But I, I, I was thinking that if I start to add more and more of these platforms, it may start to look a little too bland, only having one color. And so I decided to differentiate it and have a second color. So this, uh, this one is a different color. I guess because it's sort of like a, it's not a main platform. It's it's outside of the main platforms, and so it's like a, it's a secondary secondary system, I guess, if you want to call it that. And so when I dressed up these guys here, okay, I'm not gonna not actually shoot that thing, but uh, I decided that I would continue with magenta. I looked at all of the inverted lamps you could make. I think the first one I actually tried was blue, and it was too bright or too, not too bright, but too dark of a color. And inverted blue lamp, uh, the inverted light blue looked nice with the tin and the iron blocks and the aluminum blocks. And uh, I tried out a few others, and I think magenta works well. Pink would probably work well. White works okay, but it blends in too much with all the other whiteness. Uh, light gray would probably work. Cyan might work. We might try that another time. Lime green, I think, is a little too bright, so I don't think lime green. So maybe cyan. We'll try cyan another time for another application. So uh, that's the macerator smelter set up. It's, it's kind of simple. Oh, I meant to actually... I meant to fill that in with... Did I have a full tin block there or just a panel? I think I had a full tin block. I don't remember what happened to it. I was doing something... I don't remember what, obviously, because I can't remember. Can't remember. There. There we go. And it's on. And I left the back open because I like the the redstone engines pumping away. Um, really makes everything feel a little bit more industrial. A little bit more like a laboratory. I thought about making the setup that is required to start making Autarkic gates. Because uh, they are pretty neat, and they allow you to do s a little bit more complicated and compact things in regards to pipes. Um, but I, I think that's kind of a little bit out of character for the, the concept of this base, to be you know, a lot of bells and whistles and steam and vents and, you know, things uh, moving and happening. And I don't want it to be too minimal and too compact. Um, so this has been... Uh, updated as well with the same stuff so the the iron is I guess the iron block slabs have been sort of the official have become the official um, aesthetic design detail block for whatever's floating on the outside of the platforms so I did that there also I've been working on the warded glass wall containment chamber thing I actually looked up the word containment after... I thought, like, at first, I was like, oh, containment chamber, that sounds awesome. I, I looked up what it means. Containment means to hold something in, like to keep it from spreading. I don't think that's quite right. I'm doing this to protect myself from infidel intruders or whatever. Um, not to keep myself from going outside of here. So containment doesn't really work, because we're not containing myself. We're protecting me from the bad people. I'm the good one. I'm the good one. They're the bad ones. But I've been working on it, and I did a little bit of calculations from there to bedrock. I mean, obviously, it's not even, but it's approximately 90 blocks 
from where the wall starts to up here. And let's see, I've done from here all the way around there, all the way around there, over to here, and then to here. And that's as much as I've done. I need to do some more digging of the stone with my mining laser to get rid of more of all this uh, flatness. Um, but I've gone, what, I would say, is that three quarters of the way around, almost? And I did, I did some calculations before recording, trying to count, and I think I've made approximately a little bit more than 15,000 warded glass blocks. <laughs> or I guess a combination of warded glass and warded stone, because there is some stone down here. It's mostly warded glass, though, so almost 15,000 warded glass blocks and some warded stone to make up the balance. That's a lot, and I need to make at least 5,000 more before we can proceed with the next step of the master plan. And there is a next step, believe you me. Actually, there's several next steps. But it is, a, it is a lot of work grinding that out. And I've tried to spread it out to, you can see the flux here says minimal. And I've tried to spread it out so that the flux can um, reduce some. You can see there's, there's some wisps. There's a few wisps down there. But nothing too extreme, nothing too extreme. Not like before where there was thousands of them running around. If we come over here, it's still high. So that the neighboring aura nodes or whatever are still are still healing. So I'm giving them some time to heal before I batter them again with my uh, thalmium ingots and my warded glass blocks. Okay, so today, we're gonna make a platform right here, which I've started, for machines, mostly industrial craft machines and also some red power machines or any other machines I wanna to add to it. But mostly at first, it's going to be industrial craft. So up here has sort of been a, a collection spot of just random things. Like I, I, I took all my machines down when I had, I guess like the temporary little setup there before I dug all this out. And I took them down when I destroyed that took it, eh, eh, and like periodically I would need something, like I needed more rubber balls, so I put up the extractor, or I needed uh, tin blocks and iron blocks and aluminum blocks, so I set up the compressor, etc. So these guys are just sort of orphaned here. The reason they're sitting up here is because my, um, my solar panels up top supplying me with power generate, is it 8 or is it 32 or they transmit 8 or 32 EU per tick. I'm not sure which. And these guys can take up to 32. Uh, this is a bat box. It sort of disperses power in 32, uh, 32 EU per tick uh, increments, packets. So everything else goes into this MFE. And and this guy is outputting to 128. So anywhere else I had to would have put them, I would have had to put a transformer. And I didn't feel like doing that. So anyway, they all got abandoned here. But I have plans. <laughs> I got plans for everything. I got plans for the top of this. Something I would like to do. Whoa! To streamline some more of the designs. It's going to be kind of its own platform in a way. And before I can do that, uh, we need to clean all this stuff up. Get it out of here and give it its own spot. Because I'm going to need to use it anyway. So I might as well give it a, a real platform. And so the platform is going to have those guys up there. It's also going to have these uh, blue electric alloy furnaces. And one thing I'm curious about is can I break these with the prototype Omni Wrench without them breaking? Or do I have to go get the actual industrial craft wrench and use the powered mode? Hmm. Because the default industrial craft wrench has a chance to break these, like break them, break them, where they don't work anymore, where you just get the machine block back. So I think, I think I'm not going to experiment because I don't feel like making them again. So let's just grab the wrench. And make sure it's in lossless wrench mode and it'll never run out of power with this advanced jetpack on. And let's pot, uh, p p p let's pick these guys up. Give me you. Whoop. 
Oh, you had stone in you. Okay. I was making more wafers for my circuits. Oh, when the upgrades pop out. Lovely. Good. Don't want to lose those. Okay. Um, I guess we can break you. No. Go back. Break you. And my inventory is full. Damn. Uh, okay, I'll come right back for you. In just a second. Let's dump these guys in here. So, right now, I guess the ones that I'm most likely to use, I'm most likely to want to use the compressor on this platform, the macerator, the furnace, and the extractor. So that's four different ones. I also, I used to have a an industrial centrifuge, but I think I broke it at one point by picking it up incorrectly. I think I did, so I don't think I have that anymore. Um, oh, we can put these in here. And I guess I don't really need the one, so let's drop that off. In there. And I don't I don't need the red alloy wire just this second. Um, one of the reasons I was thinking of using the autarkic gates is to make this setup I'm about to make a little bit more um, refined or a little bit more compact, I guess. But I decided, eh, this base is not about being compact. We're not going to be compact here. I'm not interested in compact. Okay, so... Um, one of the things I was considering is having these, whoa, gosh, these small machines in the center of this platform and then having, let's see, what else am I looking for? This, uh, having the small ones in the center and then having the bigger ones, like the, the industrial blast furnace and all those big guys, uh, having those guys, oh, no, wait, yeah, this is right, uh, having those guys... Um, floating out in space here, kind of like these guys are. And I was thinking about that because I haven't really put anything on these platforms. Everything's floating around them, uh, except for the Thaumcraft stuff, which is kind of a unique case. Because um, the, for one thing, the golems won't work if they have to jump off the platform to retrieve something that's floating out in space. Uh, I was thinking about doing that, and then I decided I'm not going to do that so what I think I'm going to do is have those few basic machines that don't take up much space floating on this side between this platform and the tank. And then if I decide I want the big guys, the uh, industrial blast furnace, the complosion embluster, the complosion embluster, if I, if I want the complosion embluster, um, wow, that one takes up a lot of space. You ever seen a complosion in, ah, <laughs> complosion in bluster? They're huge. Um, uh, if I need those, they will float on the other side where we have a lot of space to spare right out here. So it's going to look something like that. Um, and the width, I don't really know if this is the right width to make it. I'm just going to make it this width, and if I run into problems later, I'll adjust the width. The width, 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 width. The width can be adjusted pretty quickly. Well, pretty easily. What did I just do? Oh, okay. Put the one on the edge. Um, and I say that I, I probably, I, I don't need those, those big guys, but I've been contemplating getting back into industrial craft for a while. I sort of, I went into industrial craft just far enough to automate some basic stuff into industrial craft and build craft just far enough to automate stuff basically so i could run a quarry and have it automatically sort stuff and macerate and smelt things and store everything so that i could acquire lots of materials to build big stuff that's basically all i wanted and that's what i did but i've been thinking about getting into it more again and trying to head more towards the uh, the end game, so to speak, with Greg Tech and all that. Uh, and if I do, it won't be like an every video kind of thing. It'll be like a, every several videos we'll do a little bit on it. So I've got 14 iridium ore. These are all the iridium ores. I haven't used a single iridium ore for anything. And I actually think since we started, Greg Tech was made even a little harder. And some of the things I have now now require iridium. 
But basically, I think what I would want to do is set up a matter fabricator um, and then use this to create UU matter and then use that to make more iridium and then from that point get better power production, i.e. better solar panels. And then at that point, I can pretty much do anything. But to make this guy... Um, oh! Okay, we're fine. Uh, to make him, let, let me just look how much iridium it'll take. So we'll need this, which requires these circuits, which are not a big deal. It's just lapis and a sapphire in the center, which is pretty simple. And then an iridium plate takes... Yeah, this is one of those machines I would need to make, an implosion compressor. So an, an iridium plate takes eight industrial TNT and an iridium alloy ingot, which itself takes uh, four iridium ingots, which I guess is uh, one of those guys... Yeah, one of those guys compressed, not smelted. And then this guy, the diamond dust, whatever, is just macerated diamond, no biggie. Um, so was that four? Four for that, I have that. And then what about the industrial TNT? Oh, it's just flint and TNT. That's not a big deal either. Okay, uh, highly highly advanced machine blocks. Titanium I can make with a uh, some of those advanced machines. Chrome, yeah, I think chrome is doable. Advanced machine block is doable. I can make all this stuff, that's no problem. And then energy flow circuit, so much stuff. Oh, you need more, oh my gosh. Oh, what's this, shiny ingot, platinum ingot? Can I make platinum instead of using an iridium plate? I will have to look into this uh, later. I'm not gonna bore you with just digging through this the whole video, but I'm I was just trying to see idly how many it would take. So let's just say I go the iridium plate. So that's four more. So I would need 20 iridium to make these five things. And then these guys, teleporters, advanced machine block. Okay, this stuff I can make. So 20 iridium if I can't make platinum. I don't have that much. <laughs> I need to make more quarries. Uh, more quarries and... Hmm. Or I could try to make the platinum. That's a possibility. I'm just kind of curious to do that because I never did it. Okay, anyway, um, I'm going to set up some machines off camera because I just talked and didn't do much. <laughs> and then we'll continue sniping the whispers and missing. Oh, don't hit, don't hit my, don't hit my buddies. Hey. Get a blowback job. Oh, yeah, he's, yeah, suck it. Suck it. All right, did a little bit of work, got some blocks together, made a few electrical engines. I decided to go with this little system like this, spread them out. I thought about it first. I could either pack them as tight together as possible, or we could spread them out. I decided to spread them out. Uh, if I guess if way down the line, if it becomes too, uh, too crowded here, we'll either move things into a different platform somewhere else, or we'll make it more compact. But anyway, I uh, have like a cable going under here. There's a transformer there changing our 128 EU per tick to 32 so we need to get the oh no items out of them oh you know what before we do that let's grab some hoppers so I was thinking uh, I was sort of debating a little bit between hoppers and what are the what's the red power version called relays I think Relays. Yeah, I, I was going to make these. I was thinking about it because these guys have nine slots, whereas hoppers only have four. So it's you basically have twice the storage capacity if you're, if you're trying to cram a bunch of stuff into your hopper or relay or whatever, or into your machines. Uh, I was thinking about that, but then I was looking at my machines up there, and I realized that the hoppers blend in nicely with my color scheme, which is mostly white, because hoppers are kind of almost pure white so I'm gonna stick with hoppers and we'll just stick uh, we'll stick two on each one so that we can and I I rarely I'm really gonna need more than that 
this this stuff is just for like casual like if I need something specific I'll come over here uh, if I need to do bulk stuff I'll set up automation like this macerator smelter smelter setup um, so I, it'll be fine it's, it's fine don't worry about it don't worry about it it's fine uh, okay so we have those then we're gonna need let's see good old wooden transport pipe I'm a little worried about something which I'll show you right here. So we're going to put the, 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 the nice little thing about this, we put the electrical engines there, and they're powered by the same cable that the machines are powered by. Can't reach that guy. Hey, hey guy. Hey guy. Hey guy. Hey guy. Hello guy. Put him right there. Uh, unfortunately, the... Yeah, I can't reach it. The electrical engine connects to the wooden transport pipe, and you can put stuff in these. Um, obviously, it's not designed to have a stone in there, but you can put one in there, and I'm hoping that doesn't gum up the sorting. Okay, that's a little lag. Um, if it does, we'll figure that out when we get there. Um, I may just put a stone, piece of stone in those slots so nothing else can go in there. Maybe that would fix it. That's simple. Another problem is my lighting is interrupting my platform struts. This whole thing's going to break off and fall into the abyss without pr proper support. So I'm going to have to reconfigure a lot of these lights now that my... I'm going to have twice as many platforms, basically, as originally. Uh, okay, so that's those guys. Then we're going to need... I guess we're going to need iron transport pipes on top of all these back here no no there so that the items are all going in one direction like so and I think I want them all to end up oh oh no that's not where I meant to go all right I wanted to go here and here and then place a diamond chest right there this is where everything on this platform is going to route stuff to there. Uh, okay, that all works. I need to add redstone to power the engines, and we'd like to use. Or, or no, let's use. Uh, let's use some iron panels. Saw because. Well, I was thinking of using iron panels because we've been using iron on the outside, but all of my circuitry. Anywhere where I need redstone, I've been using tin panels, server closed. Oh, great. Be right back. And we're back. Okay, so a um, short little pause for you. A break of about two days for me in terms of recording. So what that was, um, as you know, we've been having some serious issues with lag with Feed the Beast. And what happened is uh, the lag busters were, had set up a test server. Why is that wisp not getting shot? The lag, oh, is that a node? That's a node, not a wisp. The lag busters were, oh, look at all the items flying in. The Oh my gosh, it's so many. The lag busters had a test server and were breaking things to test lag. And one of them, Etho, I'm not gonna name names, Etho, La uh, logged on to the server, Etho, and the real server, not the test server, and broke a bunch of stuff, and they had to roll it back. And so all that stuff I had just done, I had to do over. Uh, so I lost a few hours of progress. Not really that much, but uh, I did lose some progress. And I decided, because I had uh, been talking about going back into industrial craft, and I have to make some more of those really intensive machines for our machine platform, uh, I decided to set up not one quarry, but two. So I've got two quarries going simultaneous right now, and man, the items are just flying in. More items for me to not use. <laughs> more stone and dirt to get uh, destroyed by void pipes, but Hopefully some more iridium, although I was looking at some crafting recipes and I don't need them. But I have more than enough power to run two quarries side by side. So I think what I'm going to do is clear out a whole nother ring 
around here so that we have quite a bit more room. Let's, uh, let's come way over here to the back corner and see just how far we're gonna be from the center now. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's the kind of size I like to see in my master plan super bases. Uh, I think that scale will be good. If I still need materials after that, I will either use some sort of like a uh, a teleport pipe, like the um, what are the ones we were having problems with? What are they called? Um, uh, tesseracts, the four-dimensional squares. Uh, I might use a, some Tesseract setup stuff. Or that guy. Um, or something to the effect, or I'll use some sort of machine combination to generate stuff from scratch. I don't know. But I, I wanted to clear out more space anyway, and I needed the materials. Uh, we can continue with the pipes. I'm probably going to reroute them as I clear up more space. Yeah, I think, what was I doing before? I kind of forgot. I think I needed to set up a chest right here if I hadn't already done it. And I want all the pipes to be coming into that spot. So we're gonna have the basic, uh, basic machines here. And this is gonna get kind of crowded because these guys need 32. I may give each of these guys their own transformer. This guy right here to uh, low low voltage because the some of the other machines I'm going to need to make require 128 per tick. So I'm going to have to rework some of this. I was thinking, because um, I don't want to like have like tons of cable everywhere. I want it to be a little bit, <laughs> a little bit uh, efficient and make sense. But I was thinking about the pipes going around the back, these things. And instead of trying to guess what the layout is going to be, I will I will change these pipes because they're easy to manipulate. They're easy to change. I will change them after the fact uh, when I realize I need to mess with them. I would rather get this going and have this set up. I've, I've already got some stuff cooking in that smelter. I'm making more aluminum. My chest's down there are all filling up. Uh, let's see, what did I have? Three blocks from the platform was the pipe. One, two, three. One, two, three, okay. So that's three blocks gap all the way around. So it should look uh, uniform. There's this guy. Can we go in the back or do I wanna go? I guess it doesn't matter, we'll just go in the back. Uh, oh, let's put a iron pipe there. Take that, sucker. We'll put you here. And for now, I think uh, until I figure out the permanent wiring uh, and give these guys their, each their own transformer, I think what I'm gonna do is just give each one a little trigger. I wanna set this platform up to the master control platform with some wireless redstone. But until then, let's see, is this set up the correct way? Here comes these guys, they're gonna go zipping around. Uh, I should probably put in some more diamond pipes, or uh, gold pipes, I mean, rather, to speed them up. Yeah, that's not fast enough. Oop. Let's give them another. Thank you, sir, may I have another? Whoop, no, no, spit that out. Yeah, go faster. Okay, uh, maybe even a third. They're not at max velocity. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and then we'll put, whoop, we'll put another few in here. So I'm having, basically, I'm having storage issues down below with all my endless quarrying. Zip. And, oh, this isn't set up right. Okay, I need to, I need to whack this guy. Okay, go in that way. Good. Um, and I'm gonna lose some of this aluminum. That's I don't really care, to be honest. I have plenty of this stuff, but I wanted to get this automated so I don't have to, I don't have to keep taking these out of here manually. 
And while I'm doing this, let's just do that. Let's get those out of my inventory. This guy is, well, whatever. Who cares? I don't care. I don't care. So I'm going to do the same thing for this platform really quick. So that's the platform parallel. And then one, two, three, three block gap. Okay, now we're even with the platform on this side. So three more. And then spin around here. And none of those guys are currently working. Uh, or that none of them, well, I didn't even turn them on. Let's go ahead and give them triggers or levers, whatever. I guess we could do it like that. Yeah, let's just do it like that. No, no, let's not do it like that. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, let's just, let's do it like that. Okay, and, oh, no, no, ah. Give these guys little levers until I rework the wiring. Give them transformers. Um, let's see. How's that look? Yeah, that looks fine. Uh, I'm going to be putting some of those bigger guys in here anyway, so this is going to need to be modified a little bit. So, uh, while I was off camera and setting up that stuff, I was looking at my inventory because I my, all my diamond chests are getting full from all my quarrying. Uh, that's why I pulled out a bunch of the aluminum ore because this guy's about to overflow. I'm thinking maybe I need to do something with that crude oil. Um, none of these guys are in danger of getting full because I keep using them as soon as I get them. Uh, I do have a decent amount of diamonds. I turned a bunch of my rubies and emeralds and sapphires or sapphires and green sapphires into blocks. So they're easy to compress. That's not a big deal. Uh, the Zycorium is already being compressed by that setup right there. And this stuff, I honestly don't care about this stuff. I'm probably just going to throw it away. This stuff is for forestry, for making uh, fertilizer or something. And the quartz crystal, I have no idea what that's for. And I don't care. Don't care. But this, I was looking at this. I've got 15. Oh, I, got, I just got another one. A, another iridium. Must have been from those, because, yeah, I just set those up. I just had 14. Um, okay, so I was looking at this, and remember we wanted to make the the matter thingamajowls. Matter thingamajowl right here. And this guy needs an iridium plate, which takes... Uh, what did we say it takes? Five. No, that's diamond dust. So it takes four iridium. And then these guys take an iridium plate as well. Didn't I see something that it could be uh, made with platinum? Didn't I see that? Did I not? What did I see that could be made with platinum? Iridium plate. All this stuff. Tungsten plate, whatever. Iridium plate. Maybe I do need 18. What did I... I could have sworn I saw something. Maybe a, a different way to make an iridium ingot. So let's let's click on this thing. See if it gives us something. Okay, it's not responding. It's not responding for some reason. Uh, I don't know why. But anyway, uh, if I need platinum, what I discovered is that I've got tons of ferrous ore. And one route to get platinum ingots is you can get platinum dust. And to get platinum dust, you can get tiny piles of platinum dust. And to get tiny piles of platinum dust, you can make an industrial grinder, which is one of the Greg Tech machines. I think, and one of the ones, one of the big bulky ones, it takes like a big uh, amount of space. And you grind that with some water and you get nickel dust, tiny pile of platinum and tiny pile of copper in an empty cell. So I was looking into building that, uh, but now that I don't see, I'm gonna build it anyway, eventually. I don't know how soon though. If I can't, if I don't remember 
where I saw this chrome plate, titanium plate. It's still going to take a ton of materials when I decide to make this thing. Oh, here we go. Now it's responding. Uh, I don't know why it wasn't before. Okay, uh, so where was it that I saw that? Hmm. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. I don't know, but but uh, we'll start working on that, I guess, uh, eventually. Oh, maybe that was it. I don't know. But um, <laughs> I'm going to continue working on this stuff. I lost, like, uh, a few days of work because I had to wait for them to figure out the the server stuff. But the good news is we're on sort of a new host for the Feed the Beast server. And, like, the official Feed the Beast guys are, have been helping us uh, troubleshoot and refine the, the server, complicated server stuff that I don't understand. And it seems to be, it seems to be much better now. So that's good. Anyway, um, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, we'll continue, I guess, uh, with something in the base next time. See you guys later. Take it easy. Have a good day. Bye-bye.